Hello everyone, I am going to talk about the technique of choice to prevent cement excess and cement retained implant restorations. In this video, I will first describe two incorrect techniques followed by the technique of choice. One of the drawbacks of cement retained implant restorations is extrusion of excess cement into the peri-implant sulcus leading to peri-implantitis. Let's look at the first incorrect technique commonly carried out for luting cement-retained implant crowns. Here, two implants were placed at bone level in 3.6 and 3.7 region. Once the abutments have been placed intraorally, the crowns were luted in a manner similar to luting of crown and bridge on natural tooth abutments, resulting in extrusion of excess cement seen at the cervical margins of the restoration on 3.7. Within a span of a month after the delivery of the restoration, this patient presents with peri-implantitis as you can see in the radiograph, the bone loss at the distal implant. Let's look at the second technique described by Chi Won Seo and J Min Seo. A piece of rubber dam is cut out. A hole is made in the center of the rubber dam with a dental explorer and pushed through the implant abutment. The abutment is fitted onto the implant along with the rubber dam, making sure it is below the margin of the abutment. Now, the restoration is luted in the usual manner and the polymerized cement is removed and finally, the rubber dam is cut out with scissors. The advantage of this technique is that no cement flows into the tissues, but the disadvantage is that a statistically significant increase of cement excess is retained in the crown and abutment outside the interface as per study by Thomas Linkivicus and colleagues. So let's finally talk about the technique of choice. This technique is based on the technique of Chandur Vadwani and Alfonso Pinero. The procedure involves lining the intact surface of the restoration with polytetrafluoroethylene PTFE, commonly known as plumber's tape. There are two ways to line the intact surface of the restoration with the tape. The method that is followed in this video is to place the tape into the intact of the restoration with a ball burnisher and adapt the excess tape onto the external surface of the restoration with fingers. An alternative method is to first attach the abutment received from the laboratory onto a laboratory analog, then line the abutment with the PTFE tape. Once this is done, the restoration is seated completely onto the abutment to facilitate transfer of the tape to the intangible surface of the restoration. Now, obtain the impression of the PTFE lined intangible surface of the restoration with light body VPS material being expressed into the intangible by the intraoral tip which is in turn connected to the cartridge tip. Once it sets, remove the replica along with the PTFE tape. Now remove the tape from the replica, ensure no voids are present on the abutment replica and the abutment finish line has been accurately duplicated. So now we get the reduced light body abutment replica. But here's the important thing. This Teplon tape represents the cement space of approximately 50 micrometers. Now, the luting cement is mixed in the usual manner and placed into the intact glue of the restoration and the abutment replica is inserted to remove excess cement from the crown. Remove the replica from the restoration. If any voids are present in the intact glue, add a small amount of extra luting agent to fill the void. This technique ensures adequate retention by using a copy abutment with smaller dimensions to account for the cement space. But here's the important thing. The most reliable way to eliminate the extrusion of excess cement into the peri-implant sulcus and to ensure complete removal of the cement remnants is to combine this technique with the use of custom abutments without any undercut with supragingival margins in the non-aesthetic zone and 0.5 mm subgingival margins in the aesthetic zone. This simple chair side technique described to control the cement volume will predictively prevent cement extrusion 
and associated complications. So what are you waiting for? Use this technique and practice stress-free dentistry. Thanks for watching.